Now, let's answer question from random post. Pero, hindi natin reveal kung sino nag-post nito. Meron pa tong mga word problems. Kasi galing ito sa isang private na FB group. Let's do multiplying fractions. Numerical ability, multiplying fractions. Pero bago ang lahat para sa mga first time pa sa channel ko, kung naghahanap kayo ng mga libreng printable na reviewers, punta lang kayo sa files ng grupong ito, Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Kung meron kayong concern, punta lang din kayo dito sa free reviewers manage value na rin na FB page, pwede kayo mag-message dyan. Now, para sa iba pang detalye regarding sa fractions, pwede nyo ang isearch fractions at idugtong yung lunalin. Pwede nyo ring isulat yung multiplication of fractions tapos idugtong yung lunalin para mapanood nyo yung previous regarding sa fractions. Lalong-lalo na yung mga previous na videos kasi natin, iniisa natin yung multiplication, kung paano mag-divide, yung pagkakaiba nila, yung sa addition, add addition at yung sa subtraction. Now always remember addition and subtraction kailangan hanapin yung least common denominator or dapat pariho yung mga denominators bago kayo mag-add and subtract sa mga numerators. While yung mag-divide, mag-flip over tayo diyan sa pang-divide. While yung multiplication, i-multiply mo lang yung numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. Number one, this is two-third times two over five. I-multiply mo lang yan siya. This is four. Tapos yung mga denominator is three times five and that is fifteen. Para masimplify yan, hanapan natin ang greatest common factor. Kaso lang greatest common factor dyan sa dalawa ay 1. So, yan na yung final na answer sa number 1. Number 2. This is 3 over 2 times 1 half. Numerator to numerator, 3 times 1 and that is 3. Denominator to denominator, 2 times 2 and that is 4. Yan na yung sagot, 3 fourth. Next, number 3. This is 8 over 9 times 4 over 5. Again, numerator to numerator, 8 times 4, and that is 32. 9 times 5, and that is 45. Ang greatest common factor sa dalawa ay 1 lang din, so yan na yung simplest na sagot. By the way, paano hanapin yung greatest common factor? Pwede nyo i-search. Greatest common factor, idugtong lang yung lionalin para mas madaling mahanap nyo yung mga previous na mga videos natin regarding sa paghahanap ng greatest common factors. Next, number 4. This is 2 over 7 times 6 over 7. Numerators to numerators, 2 times 6 and this is 12. 7 times 7 and this is 49. Again, Ang greatest common factor sa dalawa ay 1 lang. So, yan na yung pinaka-simpliest form niya. 12 over 49. Next, number 5. This is 11 over 12 times 5 over 6. Numerator to numerator and that is 55. Denominator to denominator. 12 times 6. 12 times 6 and that is... 72. So, ang sagot dito, 55 over 72. Hindi na natin yan malist kasi ang greatest common factor sa dalawa ay 1 lang. So, yan na yung tamang sagot. Now, dito tayo sa number 6. Meron tayong whole number. Remember, lahat ng mga whole number, i-rewrite muna natin. This is 5 over 11 times 22. Always remember lahat ng mga whole numbers meron yang one automatic na denominator. So, numerator to numerator, 5 times 22, and that is 110. 11 times 1, and that is 11. So, obviously, ang sagot dito ay yung 110 over 11, 
Zero lang naman yan. So, kopyahin si zero. Eleven divided by eleven, that is one. Or cancel out, one lang yan siya. So, that is ten. Or one hundred ten divided by eleven, and that is ten. Isa pang paraan. 5 over 11 times 22. Again, meron yung automatic na 1 na denominator. 22 divided by 11 and that is 2. 5 times 2 equals 10. Next, number 7. Si number 7, 1 over 14 times 7. Again, always remember lahat ng mga whole numbers meron yung automatic 1 na denominator. There are two ways to solve this. 1 times 7, and that is 7. 12 times 1, and that is 14. Isa pang paraan. Pwede namang itong 7 at saka 14. Ang greatest common factor dyan ay 7. Or 14 divided by 7, and this is 2. So 1 yan siya. So therefore, ang sagot 1 times 1, and that is 1. 2 times 1, and this is 2. In other words, itong 7 over 14, ang greatest common factor dyan ay 7, so pwede natin yung malist. 7 divided by 7 equals 1. 14 divided by 7, and that is 2. Kaya ang sagot dito ay 1 half. Next, number 8. We have 8 over 9 times 2 over 8. Again, pwede namang mag-cancel out. So, i-cancel out mo lang. Ang sagot dito ay 2 over 9. So, yan na yung sagot. 2 over 9. Next, number 9. We have 5 over 9 times 6 over 10. Numerator to numerator, and this is 30. 9 times 10, and that is 90. So, i-crash out, I mean, i-cancel out mo lang yung 0 sa taas at 0 sa baba. Nasa pinakahuli lang yan siya. So, ang natitira dito ay 3 over 9. Hanapan lang ng greatest common factor which is 3. 3 divided by 3 and that is 1. 9 divided by 3 and this is 3. So, ang sagot dito ay 1 third. Isa pang paraan. This is 5 over 9 ulit times 6 over 10. Cancel mo yan siya. And this is 2 kasi 10 divided by 5 and that is 2. Dito yung 2 natin kasi nandyan yung 10. Ito naman, ang greatest common factor dito ay 3. So, 6 divided by 3 and this is 2. 9 divided by 3 and this is 3. So, ang numerator natin ay 2. Then, ang denominator natin dito ay 3 times 2 and that is 6. Now, dito sa dalawang greatest common factor ay 2. So, 2 divided by 2 and that is uh, wait, 1, 6 divided by 2, and that is 3. So, ang sagot ay 1 third. Next, number 10. We have 9 over 16 times 4 over 12. Again, pwede naman tayong mag-cancel out. Itong 9 over 12, hanapan natin ng greatest common factor, which is 3. So, three, 9 divided by 3, and this is 3. 12 divided by 3, and this is 4. Ito naman ang greatest common factor ay 4. So, 16 divided by 4, and this is 4. 4 divided by 4, and that is 1. So, 3 times 1, this is 3. 4 times 4, and this is 16. So, ang sagot dito ay 3 over 16. Isa pang paraan ulit. Ganun pa rin ang gagawin natin. So, 9 over 16 times 4 over 12, yung numerator to numerator, this is 36, denominator to denominator, this is 192. Hanap pa natin ang greatest common factor para malis natin yan. Ang greatest common factor ay 12. 36 divided by 12, and that is 3. 192 divided by 12, and that is 16. Kaya ang sagot sa number 10 ay 3 over 16. Now, all I hope meron kayong naintindihan kung paano mag-multiply ng mga fractions. So, abangan sa next na video or pwede nyong i-post mo na ang video nito at try nyong sagutan itong 1 to 15. At abangan na rin yung iba pang mga, I mean, marami pa to at meron pang 
problem solving. Yan ang abangan nyo sa next na video. Thank you and God bless.